hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel on your screen is your usual girl blessing black coco blemma if you are new yes smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video a hey, a new video a hey, a new video a hey. guys please uh I have a target and that target is to reach at least 100 subscribers this month like i used to have a target that's higher than that but i've seen how hard like i've seen how real the struggle is in the streets so guys please if you are watching this video and if you are watched until this point now this is the exactly time to show me love like show this girl love by hitting that subscribe button don't just watch and scroll and go big go no i am begging subscribe to my yacht subscribe to my channel so guys today i'm going to be talking about how i got drunk once in my life and messed up big time way back in 2015 guys i'm sorry if i'm a fast talker but i'll try to you know, slow down so this started way back in, uh, in 2015. 2015 was when I got married. Like, I did my traditional marriage in 2015. So when, you know, I came over to my husband's village here in Anambra State. So, you know, after have, after wedding, like after a ceremony or something like that, you normally have like lots of leftovers of maybe wines and drinks and all that. So there was a lot of leftover that year, 2015 for us. And guys, there was a lot of wine, different designs of bottles and different contents. And guys, there's this particular wine that is always catching my eye. Whenever I see it, I'll, like, I'll look at it two times. So one day I was like, let me even look at this wine very well. Now, now carry the wine. I looked at this wine, guys. The wine, the content inside is like very milkish. It's, it's like the wine just looks like milk. I'm not even going to lie. And I was like, ah. Oh my, I'm not, I've not seen this one before, like this one, it's like me and you, it's like me and you will try you. So I said, okay, let me just keep the wine one side, you know, on a very good day, I will drink the wine. So I used to, we used to do something like that, especially me and my paddy, my paddy is uh, my mother-in-law's last born. So he's, I used to call him last B. So on, on a faithful day, so on a faithful day, I decided that, okay, today is good, this is a nice day to drink my wine you no know, my milk wine that's what i would always call it so that day i just you know woke up i was feeling so energized feeling so cute and i was like okay let's drink this wine today so i went and brought the wine and last we opened this i brought cups i brought you know cups and we shared it so guys immediately i tested this wine hey i could not believe it this wine was so sweet like it just it just tastes it just tastes like milk basically like the wine tastes just like milk hey i was like hey jehovah i've not tested this one before guys and i carried my big eye to be drinking the wine like i even drank more than my 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 husband's brother i was drinking this one at a point i stopped using cup to you know do tush tush things i used carried the bottle and i was do -do 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 -do. the wine was so sweet i i drank it last if i drank it as if i was drinking water and my brother-in-law, he didn't say anything to me. Like, he knew that this wine has alcohol. And he did not say nothing to me. He just, you know, allowed me, you know, to flex myself, you know. Can do whatever I want, kind of a thing. And, you know, in my in my husband's house, my mother-in-law has no daughter. Like, she only bore sons. And I was the first girl. And also, I was, like, the daughter, the sister, and, you know, wife and everything all in one. So, I was the only girl amongst all the dudes in our house. So, I've always been, you know... The only girl in the house so I'm, I'm used to you know them pampering me taking care of me like they do so i love my brother-in-law like so much rich tomorrow so as that was going on nobody said nothing to me so after drinking that when i enjoying my life as i was feeling in my mind now so it was the evening time i was supposed to prepare food like for dinner you know so that they're supposed to kill chicken that we used to prepare jollof rice for dinner small thing just for me to enter inside the hot water that they are using to build the chicken feather. It's not as if I'm joining them to peel. It was the people that were peeling that peeling their thing. I just went there to supervise what they were doing as the madam of the house. It remains more to let me land inside water. 
I could not understand what was going on with me again. And my head, my mind did not tell me that, babe, <laughs> that drunkenness be this so. I was just like, I don't understand. You know, some, I've never been drunk before. And I've not tested that kind of wine before to know how it works. So I don't understand what was, you know, going on. I was just, you know, following the vibes. I was just laughing anyhow, like a mad person. Anything that just that would just happen, I will laugh. A chicken will just do kokoroko, I will laugh. My husband will pass, I will laugh. My mother in law will talk, I will laugh. And they don't understand that this girl, like she takes something you know. Ah, guys, it was it was tough. It was really tough. And to talk things, to talk it, like to make matters worse. That was the day that the crew, like the whole house, decided to go out and go and you know, chop life, you know. I cannot stay in the house. I have to follow them to go and chop things, you know. I I pay though and you know wear my dress and my shoes and I followed my husband to go and chop things. Um, on getting there, hey, blessing was laughing. <laughs> Guys, this laugh, like it's so embarrassing. Like I don't know how much embarrassment I brought to myself. Hey, gosh. I was so laughing, I was laughing for no reason that I would just open my mouth and be laughing. Like, not that small laugh that I would just laugh, like <laughs> you close your mouth, I would laugh. Hey, getting to the place that we, that, we want, that we want to sit down to, you know, chop things. The people was, people was there, like a lot of people, like there was crowd. And you know how December things used to be now? The crowd there was too much. Hey, I did not even catch shame. Shame did not even catch me, I was still laughing. Hey, I was laughing. Everybody was looking at me. I was laughing. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. People just saying this, if, like, I feel so embarrassed right now. So we decided, okay, that we are going to, you know, go to uh, take the inside, you know, vacancy that is there. So we set the table for us and the chairs and we sat down. And your girl is still laughing. <laughs> like, you guys have not seen this type of thing before, I'll be. Like, myself, I've not seen it. Like, it is so freaking embarrassing. I, I I did myself bad. I'm not even going to lie. I did myself bad thing. I was laughing. I said that was as if that was not enough. Oh. I said, okay, everybody, what will you drink? Like make your order now. Oh more normally what I would normally take if we go out is semen of eyes. That's what I normally take. And on a normal basis with my clear eyes, I would take like just two or three bottles, you know. Just for you know, um, responsibility sake, I don't take more than that. Sometimes maybe I'll take four, maybe if my husband pressures me, but if not, I'll just take two or three bottles and I'm good. Ah, guys, that day I do not even remember how many I take. According to my husband, he said I took about seven or eight bottles. And my husband is the kind of person that if you're eating something that the way he enjoys it, hey, he'll be ordering more, like he will be in one bottle, but you, you have taken like 10 bottles. He will still be in his one bottle. That was how this one was ordering semen for me. And I was drinking. And that time, I was using like two straws to drink. Not now that I'm using one that I've forgotten all those my two lifestyle. In fact, I'm going to drink it back because this babe is coming back. Like, <laughs> straws that I used to drink then. That was how I was, you know, sipping this thing, sipping this thing. Under two seconds, I'll drop bottle on the floor. Under two seconds, I'll drop bottle on the floor. And they were like, hailing me, like, you know, something like that. They don't know that. Hey, no more than another now. Like, I'm passing out. Like, I'm going. Ah, after the last bottle, I think it was the eighth bottle. Guys, I couldn't do it no more. Like, I couldn't carry myself no more. I don't even know how to laugh again. I just could my bend my head on top of the table. I slept off. All right. Um, my husband said that I vomited that day. So when I regained a little bit consciousness was when I think when they were trying to wake me up so I can enter car so I can go back to the house because it was really really late. Everybody has left like everybody that was there when we came all of them we were gone. It was just us. So I managed uh, I managed to enter car. I don't even remember entering the car but I managed to enter car. You know when you are near but you are far. You know, you can just hear, be hearing something, but inside you, you know, cough and chant. That was what happened. So, when, on getting to the house, my mother-in-law is the woman that, if her children go out, <laughs> she will not sleep. She will sit down in front of her compound and wait for all of us to come back. So, on that faithful day, she was in her usual position, waiting for us to come back. <laughs> and if eventually I come back in that position and she saw me in that, like, situation, hey, my father was here that. Hey, <laughs> Jehovah. So what my husband did was, 
he packed his car a little bit far from our gate and they went inside to go and check if she was there and lo and behold the queen was there so what they did was they developed a plan b the plan b was that he's that he's going to you know distract my mother-in-law like take her to the backyard that maybe tell her that he wants to tell him something that happened you know so that one the woman like this but her the woman like this way well, well, if you just tell her that i want to tell her something she will just follow you like you are using juju she will just follow you so that was how my husband took her to the backyard so when they took her to the backyard i was able to they were able to you know take me to our room ah guys i didn't even know when all this was happening no, this was like the gist they were just me later on the next morning guys come and see headache hey when my mother Elon now saw me i was so weak headache pains you know all those stuff that comes with excess alcohol ah gosh i was looking so tired my mother my mother in law started shouting that you know my brother in laws and my husband that why would they you know treat me like that you know as the only girl in the house now the woman can protect me or as in <laughs> but now that we are two because my last b my our last born like my husband's last born is now married so i now have munyedi i'm so happy <laughs> at least i have someone that can relate to me Ever since that day, guys, I've been so conscious. I've not even gotten drunk again. I've been so conscious. Anything that looks like wine, hey, whether milk or not milk, whatever it is looking like, I will have to check the alcohol content. Or even if I'm taking, just a, just a little bit because I don't want a story that touches the heart. Maybe if I go out now with friends now, I'll now go and drink like a mad person. That's how I will now laugh and come back to my husband's house like... <laughs> So guys, that was really embarrassing. I really messed up big time to me. I feel like that was a big one. Do you understand, you know, coming into a bar that is filled with people and you are laughing? It's not, it's not like I'm laughing like kaka 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 kaka. But I'm just opening my teeth like. <laughs> you know that kind of stupid laugh now? Like, everybody will just be staring at you. Even people that know you that, that is there that you don't even know. That they were there, they would just be looking at you. Hey guys, boy, that it was so embarrassing. I will, I messed up, guys. I messed up. Like me, that was feeling like a fine girl. I messed up big time that period. I'm never, ever, ever going to try something like that again in my life. I'm never going to do it. But yeah, that's it, guys, for this story time slash whatever it is, my embarrassing story. So if you have a similar story like this. Let me know in the comment section and like i said please guys subscribe to my channel give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this story time and until then i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much bye guys